Mayhem at Lake George. A huge party getting out of hand over the weekend. The sheriff says there were about a dozen arrests all due to this you're seeing. Fox 35's Dave Puglisi has a closer look at the bash. This so-called mayhem on Lake George event has become a yearly tradition. And while most come out to have a good time, there are always a few that cause some trouble. This year, sending one person to the hospital. Yeah, he's unconscious, large guy on the uh, DJ deck. A lot of blood coming from the head and face. A fight breaking out in the middle of a massive weekend party. Like anything else, you have knuckleheads to try to ruin everything that goes on, and our job is to eradicate the knuckleheads. Sheriff Mike Chitwood was out on the water helping his deputies calm down the ruckus. Their boat guided in by supportive party goers. So they actually had to guide us in. I mean, you know, we had to cut our engine, lift it out of the water, and then have them get us in so we could get medical attention uh, to the individual who was severely injured during a fight. Deputies were able to get the unconscious man to a helicopter and take some of those believed to be involved in the fight into custody. Have a seat, brother. Have a seat. The unsanctioned event has become a yearly tradition held at the lake the first Saturday of every May. It's a money maker for the businesses around the area. You know, people coming to restaurants and eating and buying gas and fuel and, you know, stuff like that and everything. So it does help out the community. and. For local Dennis Kendall, who frequents the lake, he doesn't find the event to be a bother. Although when the big parties come to town, he likes to stay off the water. You know, just let them do their thing. They ain't bother me and let them go on and do whatever. The law enforcement is going to get them out there if they're doing anything wrong. Sheriff Chitwood said that a vast majority of the people who came out here were following the rules. He says that if this event continues in the future, he would like it to become a permanent event so that the taxpayers aren't the ones that have to pay for the law enforcement presence. And Aster, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News.